Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Turquoise and Sasquatch, with me, Wendy Wilson. Uh, today is Thursday, uh, February 9th, 2023, and if you can see in the background of my window, the sun is getting ready to set, so it's almost like evening, my time is like 5.20 right now, so the sun is getting ready to go down. Um, a lot of the times I kind of like to go outside because there's a certain time frame when the sun goes down that not a, not all the time, but every now and then we get beautiful colors. Um, and I like to kind of walk outside and take pictures and I've caught some pretty cool pictures of like pinks and purples and sometimes eerie reds and yellow and just weird because sometimes like we have again, our house has a lot of windows so when the sun's setting, sometimes the house looks really weird. It looks like an orangey color. It looks like a yellow color. And it's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go outside and take pictures. But I only have like a short window when I can go out there and catch like good pictures. Um, so it's just, I can see like the sunset. Um, I can think you can see, is it like a, maybe one of my neighbor's horses is out there. Let me check. Oh, yeah. Their horse is out there. All the way to the back. That's my neighbor across the street. And they have horses. Beautiful horses. Um, so, right there in the middle, there's a horse. So, I kind of like to go check out the horses, too. Um, but anyway. So, I haven't been able to get on just because my my son as i was saying he bought a new home and he's he was like moving in and we kind of been back and forth with my husband and um i'm like really really proud of my son i'm so excited and um i feel so blessed like i have really really good children like i feel like i have two great sons and um he's you know he's young and he got his new home so I'm so excited for him and it's just kind of exciting and sad at the same time because you know, he's not going to be here with me anymore. And now my younger son is like, oh, I'm going to go hang out and spend the night over at his house. And he doesn't live too far away from me. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, I guess that's great. It's just, you know, I feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm getting old and I know I'm old, but, um, it's just kind of sad to see your, you know, it's exciting. I'm so excited and so proud. But I'm also kind of like, oh. But um, anyway, yeah, we've been really extremely blessed. Like, I can't tell you enough. Like, I feel like I don't deserve our, our blessings. Like, we have been so, so blessed. Um, and I keep, I tell my sons every, like, not every day, but constantly, you know, God has blessed us. God look, God looks after us. Um, we have to put him first. And I think that, you know, maybe that's why also, like I have a lot of things going on here and I kind of all lumped them into one. And I think I have like more than that. I mean, I was told that I got a bunch of like different things going on and I think I do I have different stuff. Um, and I believe that, um, I've, they, they don't bother me. Like, you know, they bother other people. Um, they're kind of, you know, like the past, I haven't, I know that they're there. I know that they're there. Um, but I haven't had any tap or anything. It's been about two weeks now that I haven't heard anything like they, they haven't, you know, come and. But I, I know that um, I can feel that they're outside um, every now and then I look at my wind, like my triangular windows and I see kind of movement. Um, so I know that they're there, but I they haven't um, bothered me or done anything. So I think that either I am extremely protected and and they there's a line they can't cross or um uh, there's different kinds of um to where maybe I mean I don't know 
and I, th- I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but there was one night that, um, I think this was over, over the summertime. I think I might have talked about this and I need to upload the pictures and a video that I took. Um, we were sitting on the deck and it was already like dark. It was summer and of like this past, I guess, 2022, my, probably August or so, 2022. And um, we're sitting out there and I'm playing like worship music. Like I love, that's all I listen to now. Um, So I was listening to Casting Crowns and we're sitting there and, you know, they're so powerful that, you know, um, I have a tendency, like we sing. Um, And my husband found this song uh, that he hadn't heard before and he's like oh my gosh I can't believe I haven't heard this one and I'm like no it's like a really good really good song and it became one of his favorite songs so we're out there listening and I'm out there singing and I'm sitting there and you know I'm, I'm taking pictures um because at the time it wasn't completely dark yet uh but then it got you know it was already like within a matter of like minutes it was already like dark so I'm sitting there and I'm just taking pictures because I'm thinking, I feel like there's something in our woods. So I'm taking pictures and everything. And um, I'm sitting there, but this time it's already dark. And I, you know, I start recording. I start, I put my phone and I have the music going. We have the music like on his phone and I'm, and I have my phone out and I'm sitting like on our table and chairs and um, I'm just sitting there and I see movement. Um, because on the gate of our garden, there's like two solar, um, square things on the top of like the posts, there are solar lights. So the lights, I see one of them get blocked off and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's something blocking the light. So I'm recording and I have a video of like the song and was listening and I'm sitting there and the light gets blocked. Um, and I'm thinking there should be two lights. And every now and then I only saw one. So I started also taking pictures towards that area. And I'm not sure because of what I, I mean, I was trying to hold my phone as still as possible. And like, I don't know if, if by some reason I moved and through the, the po I, I guess the little rails of the, um, the deck, like if I, if for some reason I moved that it, blo- like one of those little rails blocked the light, I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, that's very possible that I might have slightly moved in that, you know, I blocked, like the light was kind of blocked by the, the rail. I don't know. Um, cause I found it odd. And when I look back at my pictures, um, I think I might have, I'm not sure. I might have, cause I have, I need to, um, if I find it on here, I, and it's going to be hard to see cause you know, it's my, my laptop camera. And I don't even know if I have it here, Uh, but it looked like um, more than two figures inside my garden. And it, to me, it almost looked like they were looking up because the way our land is, our house sits a little bit higher and then our garden is kind of a little bit downhill. So it kind of looks like something was back there and they were looking up. And to me, if that's happening, I would think that if you're, if I'm singing like worship songs, how is that even, you know, I think that darkness would flee or darkness would get irritated and not want to hear it. Instead, it seemed like it was the opposite. Like it, it stood out there. And whether maybe it was something good, um, I mean, the pictures had to brighten them up. Uh, so it's hard to tell because I could barely see them. 
and now I can't find them. So I'm um, I'm not gonna be. Oh no, yes I yes I can. All right. So you see those two things? Those are my those are those little lights. Ah, how am I gonna have this? But you can see the glare on my phone. That those are the two lights of my the gate uh, in my garden. But there is something bright behind them. Okay? And to me, that looked like two or three figures. And it almost looked like they were looking up. Um, this is a closer. Uh, the reflection of my laptop sucks. You can see my light is reflecting on my... I don't know if you're able to see that, make that out or not. But behind those two lights, it looks like there's something there. There's figures there. And I think it's more than two. Here, I lighten that one up more. Okay, it should be nothing back there. There should be, it should be black. Everything, I mean, other than the two lights, everything should be dark. And my gate is kind of tall. Um, I would probably say six feet. So where the lights are, I'm a, I'm a, I'm think I can go measure, but I'm thinking six feet, but there's something back there. And I think that night it was looking up. It was out there, um, as we were playing Christian music. As there were songs about Jesus. Now, if it's evil, it would it would flee. I think that the name of Jesus is very powerful. I've used the name of Jesus um, before, and I've had, and I don't know if it's because I have seen things since I was a young girl that things kind of approach me and I have I have had when I was a teenager things try to suppress me and I think I've mentioned this before and I've used I've prayed um the minute I say Jesus help me or Jesus it f it flees like I'm I feel like I can feel that heaviness that darkness lift and when I have sleep paralysis, that sleep paralysis, it breaks, it breaks me free, like I'm fine. So, to me, I find it very odd. Again, ugh, um, I, don't, I have to upload these. I wasn't thinking about talking about this. I was thinking about talking about something else, but this is what came uh, in my heart. So, there, those two yellow things... Those are the lights. Um, there's two square things um, that are solar lights on top of my posts. And then there's something behind them. And I think it's about three figures. Could be more back there. It's hard to tell, but I've, I've lightened that up as much as I could. Um, and there's something back there. There was something back there listening. And I see one that kind of looks more. And I just associate as a monkey face. I don't know. I'll have to upload them somehow to my laptop. I don't have them on there. Um, and there was another... And I, I think I've talked about this. this one, this particular, I, I don't think I've talked about, I haven't shown those pictures, but, um, this other thing that happened, like we were listening with my husband to, um, again, worship music, uh, Christian music. And I remember I was sitting in the room where we have those triangular windows and, um, it was probably about this time, it was it, w it was still light outside, and we're sitting there, and you know he's playing like on his phone, and like we have like 
we have a speaker and he's like, you know, we're, it's, it, you know, it's kind of loud and, and I'm singing and, you know, we're playing these worship songs. And then, um, so I'm just listening and it, like, you can feel, you can feel the music, like anything that's kind of like worship. It feels like, you know, it kind of gets you closer, um, to, you know, angels, God, uh, Jesus, at least to me. Um, I know some people feel it with like gospel music. I'm not into gospel music, so I wouldn't know. I'm not into like the old, um, I actually did not like Christian music until my husband introduced me to it. And it's more like the newer. I don't think I can, I can, you know, it, everyone has like different. Um, so a lot of people feel it with like gospel music. Um, I felt the same with this, like more like a newer um, music. Anyway, so I'm, you know, I'm feeling like it, I'm singing and, um, it's starting to get dark. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to close the house down. And so my husband's probably like, it's getting late because it's dark. So, you know, my, he turned, he turned the music off. So I, first I started, I closed the curtains where we have like the lining glass doors and the trigger windows. I closed those first and I closed them. And I think the music was still playing. It wasn't until I got over to the front of the house and I'm closing blinds. And then my husband turns the music off. And as soon as he turns the music off, we hear a slap or like a sound on. It's almost sounded like on the sliding doors, um, the ones underneath the triangular windows. And he was like, did you hear that? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I heard it. I heard it. So I think that whether it's the music, but it kind of didn't like that he turned the music. It's almost, it's almost like somebody said, hey, <laughs> you know, like, why did you turn that off for? That's the way that it, I took it and it felt like to me. Um, so again, like it certain things don't I like how do I say it um it doesn't make sense to me if it's completely evil um and again one of the things that I don't know what they are like I I'm a you know I don't want to open doorways that I'm not going to be able to shut because, you know, there are some things that, you know, I, I believe we're safe from. And this also kind of comes to people like they believe they have bad luck. Um, it's basically the way that you live um, a lot of the times. Like if you are not living the way that you're intended to, let's say that you do bad things or you have like, um, generational curses, like that all affects your life. Um, you can easily get attacked by these things, not just these, like darkness. I mean, it basically in the Bible, it tells you that Satan is like a roaring lion getting ready to devour. And, um, how does the scripture go? Give me one second. I'll look it up real quick. Cause that's a, that's a really good scripture. Um, so let me look it up real quick. Um, so it's first Peter five, eight, um, it's like be sober and vigilant. Um, so it basically says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walketh about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, right? So he's, he's basically, I mean, waiting, just waiting for you to mess up so he can devour you. And it's almost like, if you look at it this way, it's almost like you, you know, you fall, 
<laughs> and you do something. And that little something, like if your doors are closed shut, so your doors closed shut, right? And then you do something. And then that door gets a little bit open. And what happens? That door gets pushed. And then something gets, whether it could be something sliding in and then it's got it's got its foot in the door or it can open it up more for other things to get in. And then you start having like turmoil in your life. Um, a lot of like arguments or you know, in, within your home, it can be, you know, addiction. It can be anything that, you know, it has pushed this way, way in. And there are, I believe that there are like lines that it can't, like they have to ask permission, like to, you know, basically torment you. But if you op let them in, like if you open the door, then I think that basically it's like they can push themselves and come in and they have a right to be. Or that's when that generational curse is. Like there is a right to your life. If somebody down, you know, like uh, like in your line has done things. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's hard to figure out where. If it's a generational curse, because if it is, then your voice like has no power on them. You can say Jesus and I, I um, basically, you know, rebuke all you want that your your voice carries no weight. But if you're basically, you know, if you're living, if you're trying and you're living the best way that you can and making sure that you don't ac accidentally or purposely <laughs> open any doors. The name of Jesus carries like so much more weight. Um, at least that's m what I believe. And again, we all have freedom to choose, choose whatever we want to believe. But I can tell you from my experience, my view that I have rebuked, I have called on to Jesus and the name of Jesus to me carries so much weight that it basically, whatever it is, it leaves and lets me be. Um, I don't have any issues here. Oh, wow, the sky is beautiful. I can see like my skylights. I don't think I can. No, you're not going to see it. I think it's the other skylight. Oh, you can see it on like the clouds and the colors look really pretty. I don't think I, I don't know if it's that time. What time is it? Cause there's a certain time where you can get, no, it's only 543 where I can just get, um, really good pictures. And I think I missed the call. Oh, I think I missed the call from my mom. I'll have to call her back. Um, so Anyway, where was I? That, to me, the name of Jesus, is, it carries so much weight. Um, and, you know, I know people think that, um, you know, when did, I guess, Satan come into the world? If you look at it this way, Adam and Eve, they were lied to from, like, the beginning when they were in the Garden of Eden, right? When they were in the garden, Satan came in and lied to Eve and got Eve to eat the fruit. So since that moment, okay, it was he was already infiltrating what happened with Cain and Abel. Those were the first two sons that Adam and Eve had, right? So there's not that many people. I mean, I don't know if they had any daughters prior to them or after them. I think they had it after them. Um, so, but Cain killed Abel. So evil was already <laughs> from the beginning. Um, when Jesus had his last supper, what does he say to his apostles? 
And let me look that up for you. Um, what did he say? Um, Satan will sift you like wheat. Give me one second. Let me find it. Because I, to me, that's a very powerful um, scripture. And I think I've read this before. And, it, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed, Satan has asked for you that you that he may sift you as wheat. What is sifting? So sifting is like um, where we can put flour on like, um, what are those, col colander? I, one of those, um, I don't know what they're called. But you put the flour in it and you shake it and the flour falls and it's like, you know, fluffier. And um, so he, it's like sifting. So Jesus says, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked if he could, that, you know, he, what did it say? That he may sift you as wheat. So it's almost like um, basically warning them. So say, like he saw Satan, he saw Satan, Satan came and talked to him. Um, nobody else saw him, um, at, you know, when they're sitting at the, the last supper and he says, he's come in and asked me, you know, that he may sift you as wheat. So he's warning them. And these are like the apostles. These are the ones that also after Jesus, um, after he woke up from the dead, like, you know, after three days. And like when it was his time to rise up to heaven, like, and the Holy Spirit came down to the apostles like these men had the Holy Spirit. This, these men, these 12 men were able to perform miracles, walked and spread the gospel. Um, how much faith? I mean, these people walked with Jesus. If Satan can sift them like wheat, like who are we? I mean, how easy would it be for us, for him to get infiltrate like into our lives? And it's almost like one of those things where you have to be on guard, all, you know, every time. Like you have to kind of um, make sure that you're, you, you know, all your doors are closed, um, that you don't fall into anything. And it's, I, I'll tell you, that is very hard because we all fall short. Like we all sin. Um, it is very difficult. So we are going to encounter a lot more darkness in our lives. And some more than others. But there's one way that we can, you know, definitely. Like if you sin and you recognize that you sinned, and you can repent and basically ask for forgiveness. But you have to mean it. You can't just be like, I'm sorry, and then do it again. That doesn't work. <laughs> but even though, even then, like, he will forgive you. And you can get yourself back up. And you can, you know, pray and, and keep your house um, protected. There is a reason why, like there's a hierarchy in like the like a marriage like the husband is above the wife is like right below and then the children because the husband is the head of the home who has the power like who who is like the the head of the house that has the power to drive things away it's the husband not the wife even though the wife can do it the husband has more like he has more power to drive things out because he is the head he is the man of the house um he's the one that stands and protects his family 
in a lot right now, even like for decades now, it's, they've tried to, you know, how many families have been broken up? How many families basically are, you know, divorced homes like mine? You know, I, I tried, I tried and I was married for, I think about nine, 10 years to my first husband. And I, even though probably it should have been less, I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to try and I'm going to try to work this out because when my kids look at me in the eye and I can, I can say to them, your mom tried, your mom did what she could. It just didn't work out. Um, and I had every reason to not be in that marriage. I had it biblically and I guess, uh, according to the laws here. Um, but it's one of those things where Satan infiltrates to break the families apart. So what happens? Then if that is broken, right? We, a lot of people don't stay, you know, they kind of go and kind of with other people or if they find somebody else they don't get married they're just kind of living together they're you know they move in and it's not it's almost like you break that protection it's almost like you're living in sin um so that so things can get in and you don't even know according to you you're thinking well i'm not doing anything wrong like my partner and I are together, um, we're not married, but we're not seeing other people. Like we're, we're choosing and somehow that, you know, it's, it's almost like if there's a contract, there's a clause and you're breaking that clause and things can get in and infiltrate your home. Um, now, you know, when, it's hard to, people can't live on one income. They, the, the mothers have to go out to work. So they send the children to like daycares and schools and everything. So who's raising your children? Teachers, babysitters, daycare providers. So your children, you're no longer like teaching your kids like the way that you were taught when you were little. And sometimes, you know, there are bad parents, bad families, um, that, you know, they had a rough life. So their kids, you know, they don't know any better. Um, but there are a, you know, also a lot that know they have, you know, they would actually would teach their children morals, more of like the right path. And this isn't you. Um, it happens. So their children get taught by like the outside world. So it's almost like they only spend with a family one or two hours or a couple of hours, you know, a few hours at night. And then it's time to go to bed and repeat the next day all over where they just see him in the morning. They go to school, they go to work, they go to babysitter, okay, care, whatever. And they only see, you know, it's, it's, it's a pattern now where it's basically a system to break the family, to break the values. Look where we are today with the way families are, um, the way things are. Um, right now, kids don't even know if they're female or like male or female. They're being taught that they don't know. <laughs> In back, you know... They were girls that were tomboys. They were boys that were just a little bit more, you know, they didn't want to get dirty. They didn't want to play sports. But it wasn't like you were labeling them as, oh, that must be a boy or that, you know, he's going to be a girl. It it was just fine. Like they, you know, girl was still going to be, she just liked to play with the boys. Now it's like, oh, you need to be labeled like 
you know, like you're this or you're that because you're not acting or, or you, you know, it's okay. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it's all to attack the family, attack humanity. Um, and it's working. We have fallen. And how do we get back up? How do we get back up? How do we get men to be men um, and stand up and be the heads of their household? How do we get women to say it's okay? Um, You don't have to do everything. Yes, we know you can do it. We know that you can go out there and make a living, but your kids need you. How can we say that to them now? Like, a lot of them think, oh, no. And and I don't know. I've seen it where it takes two parents to bathe a child. Because the mom can no longer do it on her own. She needs help. And that's sad. Um, how do we say to them, you, it's okay. You can raise your child. It's okay. You know, sometimes they do need help. But... <laughs> Bathing your child, it doesn't take two people. It takes one. Whether it's your the husband or the mom, it takes one. It doesn't take two. Um, it's just so insane how far we have fallen. And people are not going to see it until we fall a little further down. And then it's like, oh my gosh. Um... But again, it's is being done for a reason to break, um, you know, for the Tower of Babel. God said that if humans, um, if we all work together, there's nothing, nothing impossible for humans like to do. So if we work together, if we pretty much. You know, I know that they put it divisions like race, um, you know, rich and poor polit- political views and everything. They try to separate people and people separate themselves into little clusters. But if we all knew that we can all come together and knock evil out, knock the elites out, like it would be easy for us to do. But they know it. They know it. They know that the minute you're awake and, and know what they're doing, they're done. So what what happens? It's all the little, you know, things to break you apart. Um, so it's just, I wish there were, you know, more. Um, there are people talking about it. There are people out there that their lions have actually have been activated. It's like their lions are out there. There's so many women too that, you know, they have a, like the spirit of like the women in the Bible, like the Esthers, the, like Deborah's, you know, that they, they they're out there. And speaking and bringing light. Um, and they're, they're out there. Um, anyway, I just went on a rant about just random stuff. What, what I'm basically saying is that there's a reason why, you know, God placed certain things like why they're in place and how you can get protected. Um, how you can keep things outside and not come in and bother you. And even if they happen to come in, they cannot touch you. Um, because there are like lines that they cannot cross. It's almost like there's 
contracts that you cannot break this. Um, if you belong to God, there's nothing that can hurt. Like you basically are protected. He'll send your angels like to protect you. Um, and things, I mean, I'm sure, you know, um, I know I've been protected. I know I feel like there's been somebody watching over me and my sons. Um, so we, it's almost like all of our lives, like he has placed people, people in front of us that we have not gone without. Um, my sons have been favored. Like, um, and I, I cannot like chance that I cannot do something bad to lose that. You know, I rather kind of keep doing what I'm doing or, or get higher. Um, so I can stay in that light. So anything, if, it, if I have anything, you know, coming at me from different sides, different angles, I am protected. But anyway, so I do think that I do have, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I do think there's a lot of weird stuff, but I think nobody else sees it. Like I see it. I take pictures of whatever. Um, I know people come here and they're like, oh, this is so peaceful. And it feels peaceful. There's, it doesn't feel like chaotic. Um, and would that mean that there's something like that's positive? I mean, I can grow things here. Um, we can grow vegetables, like really nice, uh, flowers, everything. The wildlife comes in and out. We get lots of birds. Um, so I think if it was anything negative or anything that I wouldn't have that. Like I wouldn't be able to grow anything if there were any curses on the land anything I would plant would die. Like I wouldn't be able to plant anything. Um, I wouldn't have the wildlife that I have, even though sometimes like, you know, deer and all that stuff, it's, uh, you know, they kind of do get destructive. Well, there's something blue out there. I wonder what that blue is. It's, uh, it's probably my, it's my lights. It's my lights. So anyway, I went on a rant, but, um, I just wanted to say, guys, call on to Jesus. And if Jesus, if the name of Jesus does not work, there might be an open door that you have and things might actually be basically tormenting you and, um, they have a right to torment you or something. Some door has been opened, whether by you or by anybody in your past, like your, um, somebody, some family member in your line. Um, because it is a very powerful name and it should, you know, keep things away. But I hope you're having a great Thursday. Um, 604 here on my end um it was a beautiful day today it was nice it was almost like that fall spring because i think it was i think it was supposed to reach 60 degrees or something um like i could walk out with like a t-shirt and i was fine um i guess i don't even i just brought my sweater on just because i'm thinking it's probably gonna make my, my loft gets kind of cold in the winter um but I don't think I need it because it's, it's kind of warm up here. But I'll let you go. Um, enjoy your weekend. Um, I'll see if I can post more pictures. Um, anyway, enjoy your weekend. Thank you for watching and just thank you for being here with me. 
I appreciate every one of you, especially the people that were with me from the beginning. I thank you so much for being with me all this time. Thanks for watching. Bye.